All right, so making a little progress here. I got this thing up on top of my shelf. I gotta be careful though, because there's a lot of this uh, white corrosion stuff. And I really don't want to be breathing it in. But uh, this uh, governor cap, this is a governor cap. It was a real uh, joy to get out. As you can see, uh, I had to beat the shit out of it just to get it out. It's all rusted and corroded on there. I was trying to be careful and uh, not damage the this thing. Which it, oh wow, it just comes right out. Look at that. Actually looks uh, somewhat decent. Oh, my stuff will zoom for you. There you go. Looks okay. The gear looks actually pretty good. Uh, looks pretty good. Internals look okay, except for the, the edge. <laughs> As you can see, the edge of this governor cap. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to really clean this. This aluminum has just been, oh, it's been uh, just wiped out. Hopefully that's uh, not gonna be a huge issue. I might take this thing apart and uh, once I get all the pieces taken out, the core, I might, I might try to scrape the paint off and take it to a machine shop and have them put it in their cabinet or something, you know? But uh, I think what I'm going to do, I forgot to do this. I'm actually going to go ahead and get like a tub or something to put all these parts in. And I started taking out the this clip here that was uh, holding the speedometer on. And I started taking out some of the bolts. And uh, I definitely have to clean all this stuff. <laughs> it's dirty. But it still looks like in pretty good shape. I mean, there's not, I don't see no rough grooves. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go look for a tub real quick and and I'll uh, show you guys my progress. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that this is my first time I'm ever taking apart a transmission. So, if you're looking, you know, watching this video, thinking this is some kind of guide or something, uh, I'm... <laughs> terribly sorry I'm I am not the professional you know I mean I'm, I'm obviously gonna have to replace a lot of these parts especially the government cap this thing's junk anyway I'm gonna get a nice billet aluminum one and I'm gonna I might see about taking a uh, something here and there's some chips out of it probably where I hit it with the damn screwdriver probably but I'm gonna try to clean that up as much as I can hopefully I won't destroy this thing too much so so we got uh, some more parts off you know I got the rear the tail the tail housing off I got the rear seal out which is kind of easy I broke the speedometer or the thing this is so brittle I'm gonna have to see if I can get another one of those it just broke off and fell down there uh, so far, and everything looks actually pretty decent. I think this comes off too, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. I got that piece out. I got, kept it all in order too. It's actually extremely easy to, to deal with here. Uh, basically what I did was uh, remove the, the metal O-ring. Or not the O-ring, it's like a little uh, clamp thing. And uh, just uh, took a pair of uh, my uh, pliers there. Gave it a little twist. And there's a little O-ring in here that I had to uh, break in half. Um, from my understanding, the kits, the new kit uh, uh, comes with that. And I just, it's all kept in order there, so... Um, well basically that's what I'm going to do is hopefully I'm going to replace all the gat O-rings and all the, uh, clutches and steels and all that other stuff. But, uh, so far this uh, looks pretty clean. 
get some light so you guys can see. Hopefully, oh, I started putting some stuff in Ziploc baggies, so hopefully, I can keep it all organized. But knowing me, knowing me, I will probably lose everything. But, uh, looks pretty clean in there. But you can smell that uh, fresh, that factory smell. I used to work in uh, a place called Caterpillar, Caterpillar, where they made fuel injection systems and stuff here in town. And it smells just like the, the factory. You can... You can still smell the, the factory smell inside. That's pretty neat. So, got the uh, transmission uh, pan off. See a lot of, I'm guessing this is the magnet or something. I don't know. It's got a lot of, a lot of darkness going on in here. I don't see very many uh, like chips of metal flakes or anything. I mean, there's some stuff there. Obviously, I'm going to clean it. I'll get this all cleaned off and we'll get a new gasket and all that. Ooh. Hopefully, uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, rebuild kit has a gasket and all that. We'll get this all cleaned up. Awesome. But yeah, um, we got it going here. Um, I'm going to just try to be careful. Take all my nuts and bolts and stick them in here for now. And we'll get this taken apart. I got most of the transmission out of it. It looks clean. I'm surprised. He said it needs to be rebuilt. So uh, once I get all this stuff out, I'll uh, I'll start taking working on the the inside there. So hey, all right. So um, got the, all the this stuff taken off. Um, I did get all the check bolts. Now when I took the, the valve body off, I think this is what it's called, uh, when I, two, two of them, two of the chick balls came out. So I'm not sure exactly which ones. I'll definitely have to look it up. Probably one down in there or something, or one in there, there, I don't know. I'll have to look. But uh, there, was, uh, there was one in there, there, one in there. I think uh, somewhere. I'll have to look it up. No big deal, but so far this uh this looks really clean. I got all these pistons out. I'm gonna got this. Oop, I got this piston out. I think this looks like a piston. It looks pretty good so far. Uh, so far so good. Now I'm gonna work on uh, taking the innards out. Took all the bolts out. These bolts are kind of special. They got little o-rings inside there you see so the o-rings inside there I might have to I wonder if I can if they sell these kind of bolts because I don't like the way these are painted maybe I can uh, clean them or something so I'm gonna put these away all right so here I am being an idiot, um, trying to get this pump off, and I still had to get a couple pieces off here. This is the your or your uh, gear shifter knob or lever. I got to get that out. I need to get this whole assembly out, actually, and then we got to work on getting this thing out. This is the big big troublemaker for me right now. Alright, so I finally managed to get the pump out. It was a huge hassle. And uh you know, I got the I got this uh the case basically uh sitting over my bucket here so all the fluid comes out. I've been trying to get this uh seal out, but it's just stuck in there. I'm gonna have to I'm really going to have to try to get in there and take it out. Of course, I'm not using gloves. There's an old gasket. Ugh, splattered all over me. 
Uh, I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'll take this pump out. You can see here. I'm definitely gonna clean it up because it is really nasty. See the seal? The seal is really bad. Or it's, it's messed up. Um, let's see here. Let's put this pump back here. Oh, hold on. I still got fluid leaking out of this thing. I'm trying to contain all the fluid I can so it doesn't get it everywhere. To be honest, I don't. I probably won't even take. Won't even take this pump apart. <laughs> it looks good. I'll just clean it. Oh, that's stupid. There. Oh, uh, there's a thing here. Let's make sure I put this with with that. Oh. Uh, you guys can see inside here really good. Oh, this is aluminum. It's not gonna. But apparently there, I think there is a. There's a something in here. I think there's like a band or a something. Oh, I think I need to get that band out. Uh, yeah, let's hang my light on the stand here. There you go. Get my handy dandy screwdriver. Pretty epic. Oh, here comes some more fluid. The fluid's really brown. Oh, oh this is heavy. Let's put this right there for now. <laughs> it's heavy. Alright, it's the next day. I came out here and uh, I went and bought a this new uh, uh, snap ring pliers. I basically got the rest of this transmission completely torn apart. Uh, some of these I'm not going to be able to do. I, I just don't have the tool. And I guess I could probably order it and if I really wanted to go that far. But like... Uh, and I just washed my hands too. I don't want to get all any more dirty than I have to. Some of these parts that you have to actually use that spring compression tool. Like uh, down there. I might go up at O'Reilly's and see if they have one. But I don't want to, I want to get this done and start cleaning it. Uh, the one in here. You got to compress that down. And I think the sun shell you got to do it too. Uh, so far, I am not noticing anything wrong with this thing. He said it needed to be replaced, or, or I need to be rebuilt. And so far, I have not figured out why it needs to be rebuilt. So, you know, I'm going to, probably because it's it's been sitting around a shop for 15 years, and it's just been sitting around and the training fluid is is was like a brown color it wasn't completely black and you know on the bottom of the oil the the pan here looks okay now it's not too bad I'll clean that out real good i'll clean the valve body really well i'm gonna i bought a another wire brush there i'm gonna try to clean off i'll try to remove a lot of this paint as i can here and, uh, you know, try to get as much to clean that up because I want it to look brand new looking. 
And uh, other than that, there's nothing wrong with it now. This is my 40, 40, what is this? this is the 460 LE or I forget what it's called. 4L60E, yeah. And this is a four-wheel drive though, but I was thinking maybe if I absolutely had to, I can probably use the oil pump on this because uh, I do believe that these are interchangeable. But the problem is the bell housing, these bolts, I stripped them. These uh, star, these Torx bit bolts, they strip super easy. They're worthless, and I need to get I need to get uh, I got a die grinder, but I need the bits to uh, cut them. I don't feel like doing all that, so I'll probably hopefully this uh, pump over here will work just fine. But uh, but yeah, everything's uh, come apart. You know, I'm gonna buy the kit and I'll, I'll replace all these uh, steels and uh, clutches and all that, all of them. I'm gonna try to replace everything I can. Hopefully, you know, I'm just gonna leave all that in there. I think that's everything. I don't see any uh, grooves or anything chewed up on this aluminum. Uh, all these gears in here, they look just fine. I don't notice anything wrong. You know, for like a hundred bucks or so, you could buy like a new, these new shells here with like a hardened, hardened thing here. Um, I, could, I might do that actually, because, you know, with the 454, I might be using a little bit, there, obviously there's going to be probably a little more torque than what the, these, you know, that the Camaro, 91 Camaro had. Uh, might get another one of these. I think you can buy a kit on Etsy or something. It has all old brand new shells. So and you know I'm not and there's a seal around the uh pump. I'm gonna definitely gonna uh take that out because I'm pretty sure the rebuild kit has all new seals and all that. So and you know everything here's just gonna be cleaned. We went out and bought uh some concentrated simple green here, which I will, uh, you know, might dump some of that in there and uh, let a lot of these parts soak. Or I can just, you know, I got a bottle of this stuff here. I can probably just uh, do that. And then I'm going to break out the old power washer wherever my wife put it. I think it's behind the door. Yeah, it's back there. And uh, we're going to get this all cleaned out. So, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too far here. I was just worried about, he, he said it was need to be rebuilt, but I don't not see anything wrong. There's not, none of these uh, gears or anything's all chewed up or anything. But like I said, I think he just, uh, you know, this stuff has been sitting around. And so, maybe he thought that it needed to be rebuilt. If it turns out that I just, you know, got a really nice 700R4 for 75 bucks, man, that's going to be a good deal, I think. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, oh, and I checked all the planetary gears over there, too. Like, uh, you know, there I spun them around. They spin just, they spin real smooth. There's no play in them. Everything seems uh, pretty good, pretty good to go. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, power wash all this stuff, power hose it all. So leave me some comments, questions, suggestions. If you like this video, throw me a like. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a once I get my kit, my rebuild kit in the mail, probably in about a week or two. I will record that. I'll make a video on that, the reassembly process. Hopefully I don't screw it all up. I'm kind of worried about putting all this stuff back together. But at the same time, it, it could be fun, you know, especially, you know, once I get the core uh, cleaned up. And also tell me, uh, what color do you think I should paint this thing? I'm going to, I'm going to paint it. 
a color. I'm not sure exactly which one, which color, but I, I will paint this, including the uh, pan and all that stuff. I probably ought to just keep it, keep it orange, Chevy orange, right? So leave me some comments and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.